Hello and welcome to another Raggy's Beers, Wines and Spirits review. Today, I'm going to be reviewing Coach House Blueberry Classic Bitter. 5% uh, brewed in Cheshire. I bought it when I went to Blackpool the other week. Uh, I mean, what got me was the, um, obviously the blueberry thing. I thought, oh, that sounds interesting. A smooth, pale, straw-coloured beer, slightly sweet on first taste, with a clean and exciting taste of blueberries. The aroma is lightly hoppy and distinctively fruity. Brewed with the finest Maris Otter malt and hops from Worcester. A super multi-award winning beer. Best served chilled below 12%. Well, it's a bit chilly in here today. It's not quite 12, but it's, it's chilly enough. So, come out last weekend, got blooming cold. And uh, uh, sneeze in the last two days. Went to bed last night after watching the Avengers Endgame for the second time. And uh, couldn't get no sleep all night, so I was docile as they come. And uh, I brewed a wine kit on the, on, as soon as I got home, I thought I'll get a white, red wine kit on the brew, that one on the floor. If you can just see it there. Yeah, just there. Now, it's supposed to be 24 litres. Walking down the path with it, and uh, they are quite heavy, obviously, to walk down the path with. I didn't see this log in the way, did I? So I went arse over tit over the log. I lost three litres. And hopefully I haven't lost all the um, yeast and nutrients, because that would be problematic if I have. So, not the best start to the weekend. So on rate beer, this has got a rating of 2.92 out of 5 from 78 rate, 73 ratings. Um, natural flavour of blueberry, it says. Oh, good aroma of blueberry, I'll say that for it. Um, good lacing around the edge. And carbonation, good carbonation as well. Uh, white edge, straw colour. Quite a nice blueberry flavour. The colour's a bit, you know, I don't know, you know, you'd expect it to be, uh, well, I don't know, blue or something along them lines. You know, the colour. I don't know. It's not not quite what you expect. Uh, on the review from three reviews from quite close by. One point seven out of five for this review. Very pale and a massive aroma of blueberries. Too much fruit and sweetness. I'm really not for me. Fair dues. Another one. Three point four. Definitely not what I was expecting. Very strong blueberry flavour and quite refreshing. Another one, 2.9. Uh, clear and rather pale in colour with medium white foam. Very sweet of blueberries, somewhat like blueberry yoghurt or sweet cider. And, uh, yeah. So, obviously people are questioning whether they are natural blueberries. I suppose you'd never really know unless you went to the brewery. I mean, I'd like to try, uh, make me own... Um, Plum Porter, you know, actually buy, or Plum Stout even, you know, uh, buy a stout kit and either get a load of plums and dash them in or um, get some Plum Essence, if you can get Plum Essence, flavour, and put that in, you know. Just to um, get something that's close to Titanic's Plum Porter. Or St. Peter's uh, Plum Porter. Although these days is everyone making Plum Porters. So, it's, it's actually not bad, you know. It's um, it's quite refreshing. It's, oh, I'm not having the best of days. Spilling it down me now. Okay, now I've got a big enough mouth. I shouldn't be missing it. 
move that TV away from the uh, danger zone. Oh, yeah, really nice taste of plum. Never heard of the company before. Obviously, in Cheshire, so they've, they've obviously not got. Um, They've not gone nationwide in all, in all the supermarkets, so obviously it's one that uh, uh, Morrison's have picked out from local breweries, which is great to see, you know, and so you should. You know, the big retailers should be supporting the local breweries in their area. And obviously because um, breweries like this have got them in, you know, they're going to have to sell them probably cheaper than they would in the shop. That's where uh, big companies can afford to buy bulk stock off the breweries. I presume that's how it works anyway. You know, so many cases at a time, 100, 200 cases at a time, you know, and uh, distribute them to the local area. I presume that's how it works, you know, and uh, then they'll get them cheaper. I mean, obviously, they're still going to make a profit off it. So they'll probably be getting them for a quid a bottle, you know, and making or something thereabout, you know. Um, I don't know what the um, our retail is, you know, how much profit they make on bottles, you know. I mean, to to make beer, it's not that expensive, um, you know. Why companies are charging like nine or ten pounds for a bottle of beer? It dumbfounds me. Um, but. Anyway, this is a very nice addition to the fruit beer category. The blueberry, yeah, the aroma and the taste comes through beautiful. Just, if, if I was going to say, it's like the colour. The colour, it's a strange one, isn't it? You'd expect it to be, I don't know more blueberry-ish, and uh, that's the only thing I could say that's, you know, you, you drink it, and you, you, if you was given that, you wouldn't, you'd think, oh, it's, you know, it's a pale ale, or, you know, it could be anything, but you wouldn't expect a fruit beer from that colour. Oh, raining. But it is very nice. And going down the trees as well. Hopefully it'll knock me out and let me fall asleep. Although a quick glass of wine might help the trick, you know. Get on the settee. Now the rain's coming. Lovely. I've got to try and get back to the house now without getting soaked. Luckily my house isn't too far away, but far enough, you know. Far enough to trip over with a 24 litres of wine in your hand. Never done that before, and I thought that the bloody bucket would have um, held, you know, the seal on the bucket, but it didn't. Damn. Mm. So, that was very nice, very nice indeed. So, to break it down, uh, Straw colour, good carbonation and lacing, white head, very good blueberry aroma, very good blueberry taste. That's as much as you can say. Uh, the only thing I'd say is, is the colour's a bit, you know, with being blueberry, it, it, it's, you know, you expect it to be slightly different colour, not straw coloured. But taste wise, bang on. I mean, I've done blueberry wine and it turned out more rosé than anything. So I would have expected it to be somewhere in that rosé area, uh, you know, rose-coloured uh, beer. But, you know, um, that's, how, that's how the company have made it. But a very good tasting and a very good aroma beer. Um, out of five. Ooh. We don't get many good fruity beers. Uh, we don't get many fruity beers, to be honest. Not real fruity beers. 
and uh, they seem to have died a death. Golden Glory by Badger. Don't know where that's gone. It, I, I've not seen it for a long, a long time. And that's got tastes of peach and melons in. And, uh, you know, we can't afford to lose these beers. I myself have brewed a cherry beer. And uh, from, um, is it Brew Firm? 25 quid for the kit. And he brews, six, and he brews like 12 litres. I brewed 15 because I added more sugar. Uh, quadrupled the sugar. And uh, ooh, got a right good uh, strength out of it, you know. It, it went from about five and a half to over seven. And, uh, and that's it. Uh, a couple of weeks after, you know, mature, maturing. The bottles I've got now have matured well and, uh, you know, the strength probably will go up because obviously, obviously secondary fermentation um, will increase, I would have thought, anyway. You know, as it's eating the sugars away. Um, I did give it a score, didn't I? 4.3? Yeah, sure I did. 4.3 out of 5. Yeah. Yeah. Anyway. You can tell I'm tired because um, I can't even remember what I've done. And I fell over with my wine and dribbled a uh, beer down my front. And it's, it's only the first beer, mind you. And uh, it, won't be the, it won't be the last. By God, no. Thanks for watching. See you soon.